I wish that people understood the principle of alchemy, how we transform one material into another. I mean, that's our secret as a civilization. That's how we've managed to make such progress. You know, the ages of civilization are named after materials, and that's because we've managed to conquer different materials and transform them into, into each other. So we have the Stone Age, you have the Copper Age, you have the Bronze Age, you have the Iron Age, and now we have the Age of Silicon, and it's because we've managed to sort of get the handle on alchemy, on how we transform one into another. So we can transform coal into diamond, we can make silicon chips from sand, and we can even make lead into gold these days in a nuclear reactor. But the more mundane things are almost more miraculous, so we transform some bit of dirt and some coal into some steel. It's the toughest steel that's ever existed in the world. The Victorians were the first people to mass produce steel, and they suddenly used it as a kind of material manifesto. And you had these huge avant-garde bridges, and the railways just sort of opened up the whole country and allowed communication between everyone. Just look about any modern city and you'll see the impact of steel. Think of those wonderful stations in London, like Waterloo and King's Cross. They are the modern cathedrals and they're made of these you know, steel girders. Then we understand suddenly how to make sheet glass and suddenly you get the skyscrapers. Before that you couldn't really have a skyscraper, but then sheet glass comes along and Corbusier and all the other great architects take it and they transform the cities again. So each time a new material comes along, waves of new ideas come along and, and, and we live in different places because of it.